Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Roth Draw, and today I'm gonna try Procreate! Yes, this has been one of the most requested videos of all time. I know a lot of you guys are Procreate users. I've only dabbled one or two times, but I've never created a whole painting from beginning to end using Procreate. Just a bit of context, I've been using Photoshop since 2006, which is 16 years! You know, Photoshop has been around for a long time. It's a super robust program. and seems to be geared more towards professionals, where Procreate is more marketed towards students, hobbyists, and non-industry artists. But a lot of people in the industry use it nowadays. I love creating everything from paint sketch portraits to full-blown illustrations with a lot of detail. So today, the purpose of this video is to see if Procreate can work well with my workflow. So let's jump into it. So here is the piece that we'll be working on today. It's a sketch of a witch painting a dragon on a nice sunny day. And upon opening up Procreate, I feel like the UI is very streamlined and very simple. If I played around for a few minutes, I could probably find where everything is. If I were putting myself in the shoes of a first time user opening up Photoshop, I would probably overwhelm. You know, there's so many tools and presets and filter gallery. You probably need like a different class to help you enter the program. So I feel like Procreate does a good job at having an intuitive UI for a first time user. So the first thing I wanna try out is screen latency. Every program, every tablet is gonna have a little bit of lag between what I'm painting and what's happening on screen. But the Procreate for iPad seems to be very minimal, which I like a lot, really smooth. One thing to note, I am using a paper texture screen protector on here right now. If you're just painting directly on the glass of the iPad, there's been some comments saying that it feels too glossy or slippery, and so the paper texture helps give it a little more friction. Also, I'm always really inspired by anime art I see on Twitter. Naturally, I'm a painter and not a line art artist, but uh, yeah, let me try it out here. Yeah, after working on this right now, the line stabilization seems to be really powerful. I think that's uh, one of the strengths of Procreate, where maybe other programs feel a little more wobbly or unrefined. But let's fill in the silhouette. Ooh, nice. And now let's make a new layer and try out this cloud brush. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, this cloud brush is part of the new update for my advanced brush pack. If you guys have the advanced brush pack, you guys are getting six new brushes for free, and all 30 brushes are now compatible with Procreate, CSP, and of course, Photoshop. So I'm just gonna work on the piece here, and one thing I wanna comment on is the pinch and zoom and rotation. I really love it. It feels very natural and smooth. It makes me feel like I'm in control of my canvas. Yeah, even though you can rotate the canvas in other programs, none of them seem to do as well as Procreate. If you guys have been around the channel, you guys know that I love the mixer brush. Photoshop's mixer brush, I use it on every single illustration over the last decade. But I heard some great things about Procreate's smudge tool. So we'll try it out. And the smudge tool is up here. And we'll try this out. Ooh, uh, that is sexy. Guys, look at that. Really, really, really smooth. I'm sure you guys can relate. If you're using Photoshop Mixer Brush, if it's a big file, you're trying to mix all the pigment together. Sometimes it takes days <laughs> for the action to finish, but here it is super smooth and quick. So maybe Adobe can take some pointers. Yeah, Procreate is one-time payment of $10, which is a super affordable option for any artist. Whereas Photoshop, even the cheapest option is $120 a year. Nice, good progress so far, I'm liking it. And now let's paint what she's painting on, because clearly it's just not a gray canvas. Nice, I like that. She is clearly bad at painting dragons, but you know, she's more of a abstract painter. The piece is looking pretty good so far, but one thing I wish I had was a visible window to change my brush setting. You know, I'm a guy who loves to change like the scattering and the color dynamics, and I'm missing that here. You know, in Photoshop, I always have a window visible on the bottom right to change that, but for Procreate, to change the settings, I have to go into my brushes, click the brushes again, and then I can change everything here, which I think might interrupt my workflow. So I recently asked my Twitch viewers which art program they use, and Photoshop came in last, with CSP and Procreate coming in first and second. That's so surprising to me, especially when I use Photoshop. I asked them why, and the main reason was Photoshop's price. 
Well, as I was preparing my image for color dodge, I ran into a problem I didn't expect layer cap. I reached the maximum amount of layers. After 33, I couldn't make any more. I'm not 100%, but maybe this feature was implemented to make sure that Procreate runs as fast and smooth as possible. All right, but it is that time. Let's make it short and sweet. It's color dodge time. Ooh. <laughs> Baby dragon. And there you go. My very first painting using Procreate, a witch painting using my new brush set. Pretty meta. Overall, I feel Procreate is a very powerful and optimized program. I can see the versatility of it. It doesn't have all these staple tools I need for my workflow. You know, I love painting with photo texture and photo bash, and that's why I'm not gonna make the full jump to Procreate as of right now. Yeah, I'll still use Photoshop for my client work and high level paintings, but I can see myself using Procreate for more casual, looser drawings and paint sketches. At the end of the day, it's not about the program you use, but the art you create. So choose an application that works best with your workflow. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, every day is a Color Dodge Day. Hey guys, like I said in the video, I just updated my advanced brush pack. It includes 30 versatile essential brushes that I use in every single painting. It also includes a video demo that showcases each brush. Check it out at rothdolls.com brushes. Thank you.